Space fans, it is Monday. Is it Monday? It's Monday. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's Monday, January 31st. Um, we raced in Park Rapids, Minnesota this weekend for the Heartland 200. Um, it was supposed to be a 250 mile race and it ended up only being 220 for some reason. Uh, the course is a 110 mile loop. So, race that each day. Um, boy, do we have a story for you today. Sit down, buckle in, and enjoy this ride. So, we got in late Friday night. Uh, Saturday morning, woke up, went registered, uh, pre pre-tapped the sled, went to driver's meeting. Uh, sled was ready to go, fueled up, started the race. Uh, did a bunch of ditch riding right away and then headed into the woods for um, about after 10 miles or so of ditches. Um, our fuel stop for the day was about 50 miles in, so uh, it was a pretty good mixture of ditches and woods. Uh, a little bit before my first fuel stop, I had a couple deer running alongside of me in the woods and I blame Joel being married to him because he's an animal magnet. Um, <laughs> so, you know, deer kind of stayed to the side, so that was good. Uh, 50 miles in was the fuel stop. That went really well. Um, partially because the guy decided he was going to run the fuel nozzle for me, so I'm like, well, if you're going to help me out, awesome. Um, about five miles after the fuel stop, unfortunately, uh, I got into just a little bit of powder on the side of the trail and the powder sucked me and the sled in and I ended up falling down the bank about 10 feet through some trees and landed at the bottom and had it buried in some pretty deep snow. Um, I came off the sled a little bit but was still pretty much sitting on the seat. My tether pulled so it did its job and shut my engine off. My finger started hurting a little bit right away, which had me a little concerned. Um, tried to get it started and I really couldn't pull because my hand hurt quite a bit. So, uh, very shortly after another rider came through and was nice enough to stop. And he came down the embankment, tried to uh, help me shovel it out and he was nice enough to pull start it for me and I got it up on top of the powder and was going back and tried to get it to turn around and I couldn't and I ended up burying it again about 100 feet back from the trail. So my finger started hurting a lot more and decided my only option was to call Joel. So um, I went ahead and grabbed my cell phone out took my gloves off, looked at my finger, and it was not pretty. It was already starting to turn black and blue, and there was blood um, kind of pooling underneath the skin on the tip. Um, didn't break the skin, but, you know, obviously I ruptured blood vessels. So I called him crying and swearing and freaking out and telling him how sorry I was, and I was pissed off. And um, said, you know, I, I need help. I can't get this out. So um, he went up to the scoring trailer and uh, was able to have them send a couple of the course marshals out to me. And he says, you know, they'll, they'll pull you out and they'll um, bring you back to the fuel stop. And then I'll come with the trailer and pick you up. And I'm like, no, no, you won't be. You will not be doing that. Um, if I if I get it pulled out and nothing is broken, nothing is leaking, nothing is bent, I'm going to continue on with this race. And um, they were able to get me out. Uh, stuck my finger in the snow for a while. Uh, a, numb it, and B, to deal with the swelling that was already occurring. So I uh, put, put my big girl panties on and uh, put my gloves Source back on and... <laughs> Yeah, well, I did what I had to do. Yeah. Um, put my goggles back on and started back down the trail. Um, 
I'll show you what my finger looks like. It's it's kind of hard to tell because the sun is out so much, but my entire finger all up here is all black and blue. Um, bruising is down both sides of my fingers. Joel was nice enough to get me a splint after Saturday night. Ow. <laughs> um, <laughs> a little bit it's down the a little bit down the trail after this accident. Um, I ended up running into a trail rider head on. I did not, we did not hit, but it came close, um, which was really irritating because the trails were supposed to be close to trail riders, but for some reason, there they were. Yeah, so I got past that guy. A little bit down, the, down further in the woods, I had two more deer run out in front of me this time. A little bit further down, I had three trail riders head on with me again. Um, I got maybe within 20 miles, I want to say, of the end. Um, I had six trail riders, again, going the opposite direction. At least this group knew enough to pull completely over for me so that I could pass with no incidents. And then a little bit after that, I had six deer put out in front of me on the road. So, uh, finished Saturday, I lost part of my windshield in the crash, so I was missing a significant portion of the right hand side. Uh, my finger got worse overnight, that's where a majority of the bruising happened. Um, it just kind of developed later in the night. Of course, Joel got me a splint, so I was wearing that through bed and into Sunday morning. We woke up Sunday slept in a little bit just to kind of give us a little bit more uh, more rest from the day before. My body was incredibly sore. Um, Joel was able to fix my windshield. Um, we were able to borrow a Matrix windshield from our friends, the Van Lysels, uh, Luke Races, and Joel put it behind my uh, what was still left of my original windshield and then he used some marine duct tape to um, get it really tight and secure. Yeah, that's um, Joe's idea. Yeah, it, it really helped too. Um, it, it never, nothing was flapping in the wind yeah, or anything. I was pretty so proud of my tape job. It, I mean, it looks ugly, but it worked. So, uh, so full functionality. There. Yep, so we got that taken care of. Um, we made a, a slight adjustment to my rear shock to try to help um, in the ditches because the sled is kicking back at me. It's, it's pretty stiff in the back. Um, cornered great though. Uh, never lifted a ski. Super solid. Um, I think we're just fighting that rush suspension. May not be something that we're ever going to be able to adjust out of, but it is what it is. Uh, right before I pulled onto the starting line for Sunday's race, realized that half of the foam on the top of my goggles was ripped <laughs> and I did not bring another pair of goggles that was completely my fault so I just kind of had to pull the foam up <laughs> in place to try to get that to work um it was what it was so I decided to race on Sunday I felt like I was letting myself down and letting other people down if I didn't at least attempt to finish so I basically just backed down the effort level for the day. Um, I did have a little bit of grip strength in that middle finger, so um, I just tried to take it easy. It was super light on, on the grip on that finger. I tore through my right or my left hand too, so um, I had like two hands that didn't have its full, full grip strength. Um, I was able to tape this hand though, so um, the second tear right here, it didn't actually tear through, so that was good. S Sunday went pretty well. I did run into a couple trail riders again. Luckily, they were going the same direction as me this time. They just slowed me up a little bit. Um, I started breaking down probably 40 miles in. Fuel stop was terrible. Um, I didn't have the grip strength in this hand, obviously, to get the fuel in. I was slashing all over the place. I felt terrible for the guy helping because he was mopping up gas a lot with rags. 
because uh, it was just going everywhere, but made it through, got the gas tank full. Um, slowed down a little bit at the spot that I went off the trail just to kind of look at it again. Um, continued on. I really, I kind of found like another gear probably 60 miles in. Um, I, I just found some more endurance and energy and started, put, started to push in a little bit harder. And then the last 10 miles was all ditch riding and that was incredibly difficult because um, I had arm pump really bad. My thighs were screaming at me. Um, I could barely stand up for the ditches and you need to be able to stand in ditches. Um, so that was really difficult but as soon as I saw the, uh, the straw bales and the other arrows pointing into these really tight pine trees, I knew for sure that I was right there. I was ready to finish and I crossed that finish line. Um, and somehow through all of the adversity that I had to face this weekend, I ended up with a third place finish. So, right? <laughs> third place finish. This is the hardest podium finish I've ever had to work for in my life. And I never want to have another weekend like this ever, ever again. Um, wow, what, a, what an incredible weekend. Um, yeah, I never, I never want to do this again. I'll do the race again. I just never want this hard of a, hard of a weekend. Um, I did call and I do have an appointment for uh, an x-ray tomorrow at 9.15. Um, after I talk to the triage nurse, they really follow 10. Um, they thought because in of half a mile continue straight to stay on us 10 east that they want me to come in for an x-ray to see if the the first bone is fractured or not um i do have full movement of it so i can i can bend it it's just super stiff because it is so swollen so we will see continue straight to stay on us 10 east it's broken or not um other than that, I'm just nursing a, a super sore body. Yeah. What do you got to add? Well, I'm sorry to keep it too short, but I, I'm just really proud of your effort. Like, I was really proud of you when you um, got stuck. And I told you off. A lot of pain. <laughs> yeah, well, man, you were, you, were uh, you, wanted, you showed a lot of heart and passion that you really wanted to finish, and you're like, the hell if you're going to take this away from me. I'm going to make this and everybody sit down and watch this is going to happen and you're like I will cross that finish line no matter what and I, I was I was super proud of just the passion and effort and how, uh, how much it meant to you so that, that was what I really took away from the weekend even though I know it wasn't a great moment for you it was it was uh, it showed a lot of heart I, I was really proud of you oh, thank you um. I can be really stubborn sometimes to a fault, um, but I just, I felt like we came all this way, I mean it's a seven, seven hour drive without stops, you know, I came all this way to, to do this race and I've never done anything this long before. I've never done a race more than like, what, 36 miles? Well, less than an hour, we can say that. Yeah. yeah, you know, like 40, 45 minutes is about is about what I've done. Um, so it it was it was a challenge. I'm not gonna lie. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Um, it's probably the most painful like injury I've had besides childbirth because let's face it, nothing will ever compare to the amount of pain of childbirth. Um, for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want just think about being kicked in the balls repeatedly <laughs> for like four hours. That's what it's like. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 you never want to experience that. Um, pain levels at a zero now, as long as I don't like touch anything. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know, just something, something inside of me 
me that I just, I couldn't quit. I needed to prove to myself and to other people that I could do it. I don't like being told no. I don't like being told that I can't do something. So, um, I think, I think it was just the injured, injured finger really that motivated me to just keep going. And especially when I got the sled out and I got it back and I'm, I'm laying on the ground and looking, looking at the belly pan and, and making sure nothing's leaking and everything looked good to me. So I'm like, all right, peace out boys. <laughs> I'll see you later. They're like, is your finger okay? I'm like, yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> I suck it in some snow. Can't even feel it right now. <laughs> They probably thought I was a little nuts too, but uh, yeah. Overall, it was a it was a great weekend. Um, I'm happy to put it behind us, but I'm um, happy that we came. Happy that we did it. Um, I definitely will be back next year, whether it's ice or whether it's terrain. Um, we have two more races scheduled for this year. Neosho is two week in two weekends on the 12th. That'll be a local lake cross race, and then Manawa will be after that. Um, unfortunately, that will close out our um, racing season for this year. We just didn't have a lot of time off to be able to use this year, but we'll have a lot more next year. Um, anything else you'd like to add? That uh, yeah, I think that covers it. Yeah. I'm just proud of you. <laughs> yeah, had a great weekend. Yeah. Great weekend with Matt. Oh, you can keep doing that. My back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to stop, dude. Um, I had we had a great weekend with Maddie. Um, I think my best memory of that was after I parked my sled on Sunday, um, waiting for post tech to be completed. Um, I walked back to the trailer with my helmet, and you know, once she saw me, she like went running really fast, mama, mama, and you know was super excited to see me so that was really cool and um when the crash happened on saturday she was super concerned on the phone like mama are you okay are you okay and when joel was in the scoring trailer talking to them trying to figure out how to get me out she's like i have to help mama i have to help mama get unstuck and so that was really cool that she was like super concerned for me and everything and um She's been watching movies nonstop <laughs> all weekend long. Took a cute little nap in the trailer um, when she could. For so three hours, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She took a nap. So yeah, we'll just um, we'll move forward from this weekend. Um, there's a lot of a lot of great info that that we're taking back from this on things to do and not to do and things to bring with and not bring with. And um, we'll just look forward to these last couple of lacrosse races on ice. And um, maybe see if we can get some more trail riding in. I'm not sure. But otherwise, um, thank you for all the likes and the comments and following along with us. Um, we're happy to have you along. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook on, at Kreitziger Racing. Instagram at Kreitziger underscore racing. Um, follow me on Twitter at Emily Kreitziger. Otherwise, we will see you guys again after the show. Bye. Bye.